Hey everyone, this is Garrett Brough. I'm down here in Texas. Uh, today I want to talk about the uh, anti-collision strobes. They've become a, a popular item for just safe night flying for those with a 107, in particular with a 107, and those with a COA um, that are ob obviously authorized to fly at night. Um, and really there's two main uh, units out there now uh, and uh, there, now there's an oncoming third and I just kind of want to uh, touch on each of them briefly. So the the two that are most common out there right now are the DS30 um, and the little strobe on here and then this is the latest one uh, is being dubbed the ACS30. So quickly talk about the pros and the cons as fast as I can anyway. Um, this little strobe on you know it's a little little guy uh, pros to it obviously is how small it is um, the other pro is that it's got a self-contained charging system and there you just plug that into a micro USB um, cons to this one is that it is um, uh, not really bright enough to be a good anti-collision strobe uh, it's got a bright LED in there don't get me wrong but it doesn't put out the volume to be seen uh, to be a safe uh, uh, anti-collision strobe the FAA requires that these are uh, easily visible from three plus nautical miles away. Um, I guess the other perk to this one would be the cost. This one runs about $25, thereabouts, $25, $30 for one of these. Okay. Uh, the other popular one out there right now is the DS30. Uh, this guy is the one that's been uh, rigorously tested even by Coast Guard. There's all kinds of documentation on it and everything else. Um, the other let me go back to this one. The other downfall to this one, real quick, is that the it's it's open. It's got a little membrane on it, but it doesn't seal it out from the weather. If you were flying, uh, water could easily get all over that uh, little circuit board on there. Um, benefits to the DS30 is it uh, it is contained. Um, everything is inside, internal, and sealed up. Um, this unit is tested. In fact, I think part of the testing they even threw this in a bucket of water. For um, like three and a half hours or something like that, and let it let it run. Uh, but anyway, the uh, DS30 has four LEDs in it, four high output LEDs. Uh, one of them's in the middle; it's hard to see there under this little cone. Um, the battery on this one is underneath this little sliding gate, and it's a little LiPo battery, and it can be charged uh, and replaced. So that's one of the benefits. Of this one is the life of this one is is a long time. Whereas the others you'll see are, are self-contained batteries, and once they die, they're 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 done. You pitch them in the trash. So uh, it does have one switch on and off. When the DS31 came out, a lot of people were kind of doing the old old duct tape and bailing wire thing, where they had a nine volt battery strapped to their aircraft and one end wired up to this thing. And, you know it worked, but um, that's not really ideal. This right here is nice because it, it encapsulated everything. This one's obviously made for the Inspire 1 pops right on there and uh, good to go. So uh, pros to the DS30, uh, documentation to go along with it. It does definitely put out the volume um, and the range for your anti-collision, your primary anti-collision. Sealed unit for all weather, um, replaceable battery, um, and uh, just a nice uh, pretty much plug and play unit. Downfall is this guy's a little bit pricey. Those, those DS30s are not uh, cheap and the DS30 itself um, kind of ups the price. I think these go for about 110 uh, for this unit here. Um, the last one, the, uh, the uh, ACS30, um, this one is, is a lower profile. I know one of the things that people didn't like about the DS30 is it kind of makes your, uh, your uh, uh, drone kind of that, that high profile, whatever. In fact, I've, I've uh, even even heard people um, kind of make little jokes about it and stuff like that that it uh, makes it look like a minion or something like that but eh, kind of funny but I, I get it but it, it does stick up a little high the new ACS 30 is nice and low profile and it's small and it's light and it goes on it'll go on uh, pretty much any aircraft uh, your your M210 200 series your even a, even a Mavic it fits right nicely right on the nose of it um, the the ACS30, um, it has four LEDs as well. It's the brightest of the three. It also has three modes. You turn it on by holding that switch down for three seconds, and then you can change it from fast strobe to slow strobe, 
to uh, constant on. So if you want to use this for a landing light or something, you could turn it constant on and put it on the bottom of the aircraft or something like that. It's got a rubber seal back here um, that opens up and get the plug out here. And then it charges very similar to the uh, little strobe on uh, over there. You just plug a micro USB straight into your phone charger and it has the charging system built into it. Um, the only con that this one has over the others is that uh, it is, uh, not really the others, but over the DS30, is that it is a uh, all-contained system so that whenever that battery, LiPo battery dies, you are going to have to throw it away. Um, this unit, I believe, is going for about $80, so it's kind of in the middle of the two, uh, but it definitely does meet the needs for the anti-collision. Um, the other thing uh, some people have mentioned is that what about being able to see it from the side? Well, we're going to take these outside here, man, and you'll see that the DS30, you can see it maybe a little bit better from the side, but it's not that intense. And this thing has this mirrored type stuff where you can see it almost the same from the side. It actually works really well. And if if uh, you're flying up there with the aircraft where they need to see it from the side, you're probably too high anyway. They need to be able to kind of see it from the top side, kind of like this, uh, this angle here. And again, I highly recommend these, um, not for your anti-collision strobe, but I do highly recommend to put these all over the sides. I have a set myself, put these on the sides for navigation lights and for additional uh, anti-collision type properties. All right, so I don't know if I missed anything, but I think you kind of get the gist of, uh, of the pros and cons of each. Uh, let's take these outside and go and see what they look like uh, in the dark. All right, so here we are outside. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything at all, um, but the you kind of see there's a small light and then there's two very bright lights. So let me see if I start moving back here, I might be able to see. So you can see that the little light is the strobe on and the ones that pretty much blind the camera are the um, DS30 and the ACS30. So let's kind of go off here at a distance and see what we get here. Scoot back a little bit more. No, we can't really tell so much. I think those those strobes just pretty much wash out the the uh, camera here. But anyway, I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, I'll, sh I'll put this video on there anyway, just show you all that I did it. But uh, anyway, by far uh, DS30 and ACS30 can be seen. Uh, a little strobe on again. He's he's nice, but it doesn't quite cut it for a um, anti-collision strobe. By the way, if anybody's interested, um, I get these and pretty much all my drone equipment at, at Fly High USA. That's where I got uh, all three of these. So you know, give them a shout for whichever one you might be interested in. All right. Talk to you later.